uh, hello friends uh, welcome back once again uh, so in this video i'm gonna show you how to autofill the selection skill parameter based on the value entering other selection skill parameter yes friends, so you are thinking about what i'm talking about like okay so we'll show you the uh, practically this thing so you will get the a quick idea about the, about that thing whatever i'm telling you so let's take an example you have this selection screen okay so the selection screen suppose if you enter this date so if you enter any date the it will autofill the month in this field like that see suppose if you select any date suppose we are selecting 9th month 13th date so it will autofill month as a 9 okay so again i am just selecting the date in 11 month in the november so it is taking the by default 11 month and suppose if i am selecting the date of another month so for example in a december so it will take by default fellow here okay so how you can implement this functionality in your ABAP program so so let's start so sorry so i'm writing one small program so you will get the quick idea cz text demo text demo auto field okay uh, creating auto field hi executive program save or uh, storing in the local package only sorry the local object okay so first what i am doing i will i will create the one small uh, selection field so selection screen just double click on selection screen it does not exist okay 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 Execute. okay storing in the local object so screen click now the frame item of block p1 okay so in the selection screen uh, i am declaring two parameters okay first is the p view date type view date okay and the second one is the p1 okay so if, whenever you will select the date it will auto fill the date okay right in that, okay Okay, so we'll take the one more additional parameter which is the year. Okay, so we'll show you how we can three parameter. Okay, here type so cat zero four. Okay, so I have declared the selection screen. Okay, okay, we are doing date. Here I am giving one. Here I am giving year. So as you can see my selection screen is ready and you will find the auto by default f f4 pop up to select the date okay so i have to achieve the functionality of to uh, auto retrieve this uh, these two fields okay so what i'm doing i uh, will write one event called at selection screen at selection screen output okay so what does this mean at selection screen output selection screen is out selection screen out, output event is nothing but which will process before the before the output of the selection screen okay uh, it is the same like as process after input and process before output of uh, model tool programming okay so at selection screen outputs means uh, it will process the, the whatever the uh, whatever the thing we are going to write inside this uh, at selection screen event it will process before the output of selection screen okay and so I'm writing again at selection screen on value request to request for the view date. Okay. 
so if you don't know how, how if you don't know anything about the installation screen uh, if, you do, if you are not aware about the at selection screen event and at selection screen event then you may visit to my website which is uh, given link in the description i will show you in the here uh, here is my website uh, so this is my website where you can uh, check the at selection screen event and all Here is your website. In the, in the here you can uh, you can globally search over oh, in the search box you can search whatever thing you want. You will get all the details if you are not aware about the event and all. Okay. So meanwhile I'm just minimizing this thing. Okay. At I have used the at selection screen on value request for PU date. Okay. So if I will execute the selection screen, then you will come to know that if if you check on this thing here you will not able to see the like uh, F4 help over here. Okay so why it is not uh, coming a for help over here because i have to i have uh, why i have used so why i have used this add selection screen on value request for pbu date because uh, whenever i will select any date from this pop-up so it will get auto rated i have to uh, i have to separate month and year from the date okay so with the standard functionality uh, it is it is it will give you the standard pop-up okay for him so we have to we have to implode our own logic okay so that is the reason we i have used over here at selection and value request for pu date so in that case i will give the uh, i will implement the uh, f for help from my end and we'll use that value to uh, display in that month and year only okay so i will include one more perform here okay so now uh, i will create uh, okay so now i will create one more per one more perform over here perform fill date and auto auto fill okay. uh, so i have given the name of to game to the subroutine i will double i will double click on this thing so yes i will select you include okay yes okay so here in this okay so now uh, i have to display the f for the date pop up of for the p view date parameter for the date parameter okay so we'll just click on the pattern and give here f for date and click on okay okay so I will uh, remove all the all of the thing importing and importing in this case here I will pass only p view date. Okay. Uncomment that thing. Uncomment importing parameter and uncomment the ex exception. Sorry. Uncomment the exception. Okay. Into pretty printer. Okay. So now uh, I have to work the F4 help uh, F4 uh, date pop up for the uh, date parameter. So now if I will, uh, I will show you if I will click on execute and you can if you click on this you can see the date pop up okay which was giving the earlier for with the standard functionality this pop up and the old pop up it is all all both the pop up are the similar pop up okay so okay so now what is the next step? So next step, I have to call one more function module in order to autofill the other two parameter on the selection screen, which is nothing but month and year as displayed. I'll display in the selection screen. Okay. So here, so after the selecting of date, I have to fill the month and year automatically. Uh, month and year automatically. Okay. So for to achieve this functionality, I have I need to call one more function module. Which is nothing but dy intro value update okay values update okay so here is exporting uh, i will pass the sy rip id which is nothing but the name of the program and sy din din pro okay. and in the table okay so i have i need to pass the value in the in this table to display or uh, to autofill the parameter on the selection screen okay so din pro 
so first of all i need to declare the table of this so how we can do is just double click on this so go to the tables check the associate type so nothing but structure okay we'll copy this thing okay we'll copy this thing i will declare one structure over here okay data on table in field type standard table of table of dim okay we will uh, declare the one more structure in order to assign the value to this return a table type in string okay we'll activate okay first of all non comment it so that you not ask okay i will uncomment this we will activate sorry not a dinner uh, it's called dinr okay so now i have to pass the value to this table okay so what i will do is like first but here i need to pass the field name okay in the name i have to pass the value so what is the field name so my field name is p and okay and we'll pass the value uh, what the value i have to pass in this field so what is the value it field field value so value I have to pass the month from the date of this okay so month as you know in the sap we will get the day in the date in this format only right two zero one eight zero first year then one then date okay so in this format we will get the date in the sap so for I, what i mean so i have to pass the date okay so let's take an example this is the year this is the month and this is the day in the sap we will get the date in this format only okay so i have to pass the uh, is the month here okay so what i will do is uh, i will take the first uh, i will take the fifth and sixth parameter of from fifth and sixth digit from the date okay so how you can take this so what you need to do is just click take the pbu date plus first four the four the bracket two okay okay so what does it mean from the date we are taking the only month only month by leaving the first four parameter okay first four is the year so we don't need of it so we need a month okay so after that we just write append ls in field two two lt then field Okay, and clear the work area. Here, yeah, work area. Okay, okay. So this thing we have used for the and pass this table here. Pretty, pretty, pretty better. Okay. So in this case, I have only passed the month over here, okay. But in the our selection, so we have one more uh, parameter which is the uh, year, okay. So for the year, also we have to do the same thing, okay. Copy this thing here, yeah. winter, okay. So now we have a year in the parameter, as you can see in the selection screen, we have a different parameter for year. So we'll take this P year year and we'll write P year here okay and we need the as from the date 2018 okay so last two character okay last two character is the date second okay this two character is a month and first four character is year so i have to take the year so what i will do is we'll take zero and four okay means from from zero position we'll take four five four digit okay we'll activate the program okay now my program is ready so we'll 
will activate this screen also okay now i will run the program here we'll select the date any date i will take the today's date see as you can see in the month it is coming as the 10 and in the year it is coming as the 2018 we'll change the date again yeah, i will take any random date yeah see i have selected a 28th in the month it is coming as 03 and in the year uh, it's a 2019 so, uh, if you want the code uh, if you want the uh, reference code or uh, the whatever the thing i have done in my program so you will get this code from my website which is uh learn you can visit to my website and the link is also given in the description so that you will get the same code or the whatever i have done over here so you can use this same you can copy this code from my uh, website and you uh, you can use this code in your program so in order to in order to check how it is working so if you like this video then please press the like button below if you have any doubt then please write me in the comment section below and if you want to learn more about about to please visit to my website which is the link is also given in the description and please please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notify about my next video so friends bye signing out